was never was. <laughs> <laughs> but me and you have been friends for forever, we man. Have like you're honestly a true friend of mine and I've known you for the longest time and I remember when I knew you you hadn't even started doing radio yes you were not even a full out comedian <laughs> but that time you were doing like theaters and luo comedy yes and you've always really been a nice person like I think oh! people need to know that about Jalas <laughs> You think I'm a nice person? Yes, and then Some you, people you think changed. I'm very awful, my you friend. You never change. I thought you would change. Like when you started getting all these big opportunities, I was like I'm never gonna thank you. <laughs> never gonna talk to me. But you're so accessible. Like you uh, always pick up your phone. Uh, uh, you know, you know that people have been there with you f- throughout the journey. You've seen their journey, and you can always relate. In life, what I've always learned: don't ever forget the people who are the pillars of of your of your growth mm-hmm. and your opportunities. Mm-hmm. Life is always to me like a ladder. Yeah. When you're climbing up, there's this person who's climbing a ladder and each and every step he makes, he breaks mm. the step. He breaks the step. Then he gets up there and it's all fire. You understand? Mm-hmm. And he has to come down. When he's, how is he going to come down? And he's been breaking the steps mm. that he helped him come up. That's why I've never wanted to forget a few people who've always been there for me. Back to it. Why are Kenyan artists still lagging out there? What is wrong? As a publicist, you've yeah. interacted with all of them. Almost uh, you are in groups. We are in a group of Kenyan artists. Yes, I am. Uh, talk to me. What is happening? Um, I think what's happening for the Kenyan artists is people are fronting. People are acting like we're doing this and this is what we want but you're not really doing it you're not really working i always say like people will 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 hype themselves will hype you but even as a publicist as much as i can hype jealous when you come for a comedy show and you don't make people laugh you're not gonna last i can hype an event or a festival the first day of the festival is is um it's not a good day. The festival already will have bad reviews. So the same I feel like Kenyan artists are talking a lot among each other saying, this is what we're doing, this is what we want to do. But they're not really doing anything and they're not really collaborating. It's just like you don't see as, as many Kenyan collaborations between Kenyan artists. So I don't know. I think what they do mostly is just like post each, other, po- each other's posters of songs on the social media and stuff mm, like that. Mm. But real collaboration, real co- co- uh, cooperation, real stuff that's going to make our industry move forward is to actually see artists coming together, doing songs together, doing uh, collaborative albums together. I've, I've yet to see a Kenyan um, collaborative a- album between two artists. I haven't seen. But I see that all the time in uh, Uganda. I see that all the time in Tanzania. I see all that all the time in, in, uh, in, um, where? in Nigeria. So I think it's it's the essence of collaboration. Like let's actually ask ourselves at what extent have to what extent have we collaborated? I think that's the only problem. And then when you start working with each other, you'll find that you're starting to work with the rest of your counterparts across the region. I just find that um many artists and even Kenyan artists they want to pop in I don't know which countries, but you're not you haven't finished your work in Kenya. So let's bring it back home. Let's bring it back to Nairobi. You've not done a media tour. You've not come to Hot 96. And you're asking wow. yourself why you're not a big artist in Kenya. It's because of that. Come to Hot 96. Knock at the door. Do I need... Bring your song here. Wow. Uh, it's uh, top of the hour. Did you tell will give me the news? Will give us the news? Then uh, I'll also take another five minutes with you after the news. I never do this so that we can have a good closing part of it. But uh, just on a sad end about artists and everything... Uh, it is now confirmed that uh, radio of Radiant Weasels passed on uh, from Uganda. It's a very, very sad situation. He, he was sick and he was uh, fighting for his life. But uh, it's now confirmed that uh, he passed on this morning. Rest in peace, radio. Teddy Otieno, are you ready? <laughs> Take it away. All right, it all right, is all right. 9 o'clock plus or minus 2.